everyone, welcome back to Studio 33 Art by Kay. I'm just using these beautiful eye candy pigments that I've um, mixed up. And I've got some beautiful, beautiful colours here, as you can see. I'll list those colours in the description box so that you can see what they are. Absolutely gorgeous though. And I'm just going to do a drizzle swipe rack spin as per... Kathleen Miller, absolutely gorgeous, aren't they? And then this copper, penny copper, which is very glittery, gorgeous. Okay, so I'm going to lay down just a, a thin base, just so that I've got uh, a base color to lay the, uh, to drizzle the paints onto. You don't have to do a base coat, and you can just drizzle on as long as you're going to have enough of the colors on there. But I just want to put a very thin, as in shallow coat of this is just the um, Araldo Di Piolo black mixed with Australian flow troll so just putting a nice thin base on here shallow I should say not thin it's a difference between shallow and thin so it's a very shallow base just enough to cover my tile going to drizzle these beautiful pigments on here it's always easier if you've got a squeeze bottle but I haven't got these in a squeeze bottle I've just mixed them up into these little shot glasses so I'm just going to spread them as best I can just basically I like to do a chevroni sort of effect Julie cube tends to use the chevron effect when she does her double dips too which I'm not doing this with this one but um, it does give a really nice effect when you do a double dip and my purple Absolutely beautiful pigments, these. Colours are magnificent. So this is just randomly placed. Sometimes when I'm doing some of these, I do um, one colour at the top and a different colour at the bottom, particularly if I'm doing sort of a, a beachy scene swipe. But today, I'm not trying to do a beach scene. So I'm just putting these beautiful colours on. Just so smooth. Pretty big bubbles there, but I'll burst those in a sec. And now I'm just going to put a little bit of this copper. It's very, very glittery. The particles in it are quite large, so I don't want to put too much in there. I'll just put some little bits here and there, little blobby bits. Don't want it to take over. Okay. Now to get rid of those bubbles. If you've got any big bubbles that don't seem to be disappearing, just um, use your little meat skewer to pop them. 
I like my selectivator to be of the consistency that when I drizzle it back in, it bounces back onto my stick within about four seconds. One, two, three, four. And it bounced back. It's hard for me to show you that. Um, so you have to take my word for that. So now, just going to use a, just a playing card and I'm going to wipe that down very lightly. So you want to put enough on your card and then just wipe very, very lightly. Enough to make contact, but not enough to drag it. Now let's see what we get. Here goes. Lots of beautiful cells coming through there. It's lovely. And then doing the other side. And off the bottom. Okay. There's lots of lovely cells coming up there. Looking really pretty. i just put the lid back on my cell activator before I spill it. So now I'm just going to do a wreck, which is just taking my skewer. I think I'll use the thicker end. I'll get a better skewer than that one. It's just a thin skewer, but I'm using the thicker end of it. And you're just literally drawing some little swirls through the paint, wherever you want to do it. Colors look gorgeous. Okay, now we're going to spin, so I have to move all these things out of my way. Place this down on the turntable, hopefully in the center. I think that's about right. So here we go. Pretty. Okay, another go. Mm, this is my favorite bit here. It's really pretty. Okay, I don't think I'll spin it out much more than that. Another one, maybe. Radio. So they look beautiful. Okay, I'll bring you down for a close up. Here we are coming down for the close-up. 
of this beautiful piece. Look at those gems. It's gorgeous. My favorite piece is this piece over here. My cells beautifully formed. You see the copper has all that glitter in it. It's, it's just like, um, yeah, you've got glitter in there in your paint, but it's so sparkly. Okay, so that was just a quick one, guys, to show you a basic drizzle, swipe, rack and spin. And um, I'll see you back here in Studio 33 in the not-too-distant future. Until then, stay safe. Bye-bye.